Congratulations to our player at the Lucky Wheel, who just won a luxury car. Hey, what is up guys? Camo Squid here. Welcome back to another podium vehicle video here in GTA Online at the Diamond Casino and Resort. This vehicle, this podium vehicle, is the Ubermach Zion Classic. I believe it's one of the cars you can use in the Doomsday, or in the, the Doomsday, <laughs> the Diamond Hut Casino Heist. Uh, so that's why I put it in my arcade garage. The price for this, if you buy it, uh, it's on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos site, and it costs about $800,000. I'm actually not sure if this is a casino heist getaway car or not, but that doesn't matter. Uh, for now, anyways, it is in my arcade garage. The car is customized from the on the podium vehicle. It's customized. Makes sense. It's got a nice livery. And it is basically 100% based on the first generation BMW M6. So we're going to head to... We're just going to drive there. It's not that far away. We're going to take my good old handy dandy Garotti Furia, the Pininfarina Batista with the dihedral Koenigsegg doors. Oh man, oh, I never gets old those doors. So we're now going to very casually drive down here to the arcade really quick. And I'll show you the performance of the car as well as eventually the customization options, upgrades, all that stuff. And what it's got on it when you win it from the podium. Alright, and we'll head on back here. VIP parking behind the arcade. Alright, here we go. We got the Maxwell Vagrant over here. And over here, we have the Zion Classic. Mm, I guess we'll just leave it there. So in this dark, not very well lit arcade garage, it doesn't look as good. It looks like an old classic maroon kind of color. However, in the on the podium, it looks different. Got that old door open and close sound. With a little creak. I like the uh, exhaust tips are bouncing. Or the exhaust tip, I should say, is bouncing. That's an interesting little detail. Definitely look like customized or exclusive wheel rims for this car. They may be chrome as well, I can't really tell. If not, I'm not sure. We'll do our typical testing, show you the brake lights and stuff. Got the reverse lights, really bright right there. Brake lights look like... Oh nice, we got different brake lights then. Then we got regular tail lights. What is this, an old Challenger or something? Old Charger? <laughs> Got some weeds growing up in the parking lot. Anyways, regular lights, full brights. Just gets brighter, really. No difference there. Do our normal testing. We do have flames. What if we rev it? Flames on command. Oh my, that is beautiful. Let me do some acceleration from a stop. It sounds like a manual transmission, which is good because it's old. It should have one. Takes a while to get up to opportune shifting time or moment. 
speed. Doesn't seem like it gets very fast either. For an old car, it does sound good, does look good, does feel like it handles pretty well. Get a brake test really quick. Probably shouldn't do it on a downhill. Regular brakes. Pretty good. Get another acceleration. And, well, don't really need the acceleration again. And top speed we kind of already got with that as well. And uh, that's an interesting dashboard. Got like a grid kind of thing going on. Test the e-brake as soon as we can. I do really like the brake setups there. Oh, nice. $2,000 for good behavior. I needed that. I was uh, really lo running low on money. So uh, that's pretty good. Alright. Test the e-brake really quick. Doesn't really help if I can't drive. Then again, it's an old car, so I've got an excuse. <laughs> um... If cars would stop getting in my way. Alright, e-brake. Almost hit a car that would have tampered the... It takes a long time to slow down to a complete stop. But if I would have hit a car, it's a good thing I swerved around it a little bit. Because that would have tampered the outcome and I'd have to do it all over again, just like last week. Let's head in here really quick. It was a nice little drift I had there. Interesting. Almost perfectly lined up with the garage door. Yeah, see that looks... The red looks a lot brighter than inside the... Oh, wow. If you win it from the podium, you will make ten grand if you sell it. I do not plan on selling it, even though I don't really care for it. It is an old car, and it is a BMW, which... Uh, yeah, that's kind of, I guess, self-explanatory if you think about it. Look through these really quick. Speed it up for you.
Alright, so customization options, pretty typical. The wheels, like I said, are a exclusive one-off. The exhaust had the option to add a second one, which looking at it kind of reminded me of the Deluxo exhaust. It's got the two exhaust pipes sticking out and they kind of look similar to these ones. I did notice as well that one of the livery options was the Robot Princess Bubblegum. Uh, very uh, revealing livery there. Doesn't come with bulletproof tires, makes sense. Another thing I noticed, and this is the only car that I think I've ever seen that has this feature, is the headlight wipers, mini wipers on the headlights. Very interesting there. And also the duct tape, duct tape X's from corner to corner that you could have had on the headlights as well. Aside from those couple things, upgrade customization options are pretty standard with the rest of the vehicles in the game. With all this being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the playlist in the description down below if you want to see every single vehicle that's ever been on the podium from the day that the Diamond Casino DLC was released up until next week. And if you're watching this beyond next week, then it'll have that week. And it'll have the next next week. And it'll have next year if you're watching that far away in the future. But check out that. Check out the other vehicles. I have never missed a week so far, and I don't plan on it, so every single vehicle will be in that playlist, I can promise you. So if you just want to know what the vehicles are, just scroll through and read all the names. If you want to see them all, see all the options available, the customization options and speed tests and stuff, then go ahead and watch that video. But otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Got to do the signature thing.